All right. Back here in the uh, presentation, what we can see, again, is the, uh, the various swim lanes and, and activities that uh, each user is performing uh, throughout this thread. And uh, what we just saw in the previous segment was how Scott, the Scrum Master, defined the sprint goal and went ahead and agreed to items uh, for the backlog and assigned some, some different uh, tasks to uh, various members of the team. So what we're going to see in this next section is how Tanuj, the test lead, will now align a test sprint plan. So he'll go into Quality Manager and create uh, a test plan and some test cases and scripts and, and go ahead and create a test plan uh, that uh, uh, will test out the new features that we're going to add. Uh, once uh, he's done that, we'll also see in this segment how Scott then checks that, that alignment uh, with the, uh, the current iteration. All right, so let's go ahead and back over to the demo. And so now I'm going to play the role of Tanuj, the test lead. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, log into Rational Quality Manager. Now, Rational Quality Manager, much like Rational Team Concert, is built on the Jazz platform. And so you'll see here a very similar uh, user interface. I uh, just bring up a web browser and log in. And what we see here in Rational Quality Manager is a customized dashboard, uh, much like we do in uh, Rational Team Concert. We can uh, customize the view to show us different uh, pieces of information about the, uh, the current project that we're, we're working on. So, for example, here Tanush has set up his home page uh, to show, uh, give a view of the requirements uh, coverage by test case. So we can see four requirements covered and six are uncovered. Another thing we can see here is he has a feed showing him the latest events. And here we can see that a new requirement was added. So this comes from what Scott did in the previous segment when he exported from doors to synchronize the requirements into Rational Quality Manager. So Tanuj here can go ahead and click on that link and take a look at the latest requirement uh, and now go ahead and start to uh, uh, create a test plan here or modify his existing test plan to, uh, to create test cases for uh, this current uh, feature that we're adding. So what we'll do is uh, back here in Quality Manager, uh, we can go ahead and, and take a look at the test plan. So Tanush has done some work already. He's already created a, a test plan. And within that test plan, uh, we can go ahead and organize our test cases. And there's a whole bunch of uh, other information that we can tie into the, uh, the test plan, as you can see on the left here on the table of contents. What we're going to do is go ahead and jump right into the test cases. And uh, we can see a number of test cases have already been created and have been used uh, to help test this uh, stopwatch uh, uh, through the previous uh, couple iterations. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and add a new test case. So let's go ahead and create one for the lap timer. And we'll just call this test lap timer. And we'll make Tanuj the, uh, the owner of this test case. Okay, and once we've done that, we can go ahead and save it, and Quality Manager will create a new test case for us. Now, once the test case is created, we can go ahead and dive into the details for that particular test case. And uh, what we can do is uh, we might want to go ahead and tie the requirements. That recently rec created requirement, we want to go ahead and tie that uh, to the test case. So we'll go ahead and uh, select that uh, requirement here, the stopwatch. I'll have a lap timer. We'll go ahead and check that off. And now we have a traceability link uh, from the requirement to the test case. So we'll save that off. The other thing we want to do here is tie the test case to the actual story or task in uh, RTC that we uh, created. So we can go ahead and add the, uh, the task here. And what this will do is have us log right into RTC. And we can then go ahead and quickly query uh, the task we're looking for. So uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, type in lap here. And here's a story that we created in the previous segment. So we'll go ahead and add that here and uh, save those, uh, save that change there. So now I've tied the test case not only to the requirement, but I've tied it to uh, the, the work item or story in this case. So here I can just hover over the work item to see the details of that. Or I can click on it and dive right into Rational Team Concert to view the details. Okay. The other thing I want to add to the test case is some actual test scripts. Uh, so I've created some already. Uh, and what we can see here is we have a number of test scripts for the lap timer. So I'm going to go ahead and select those and add those scripts in. Your test scripts in Rational Quality Manager, they can be uh, command line type test scripts where you're calling 
you know, uh, Perl scripts or, or other types of uh, external testing uh, type commands, or they can be manual type, uh, type test scripts where you're, uh, you know, s s listing out step by step what the user needs to do to, to go ahead and test uh, the application. Just to give you a quick look at what it looks like, if I go ahead and dive into the test script, you can see it's a type command line, and in this case, we're going ahead and calling a uh, command line script to test our, our application. All right, so navving back to the uh, the test plan, uh, the last thing Tanuj needs to do here is go ahead and create some execution records. So what we can do is go ahead and select all our test cases here and generate some uh, new test execution records. And here we can go ahead and specify the milestone. Uh, in this case, this is for Sprint 3. And uh, we can select from any number of different platforms. Uh, in this case, I'm, I'm running on Windows, but if we were running on uh, other types of uh, platforms, we can go ahead and select those as well. And uh, a couple more steps here to go ahead and actually generate the, ex the uh, execution uh, records. And we'll finish. Okay, now once we've done that, if I want to go ahead and view those uh, uh, execution records, all we need to do is come over here to uh, the execution, and we can jump to the view execution records. And what this does is just provide me a means to, uh, you know, quickly go ahead and, uh, you know, test out, uh, run the test cases and test scripts, uh, and, uh, you know, I can go ahead and filter down here to view all the execution records for uh, Sprint 3 here. So it'll keep track of all the times I go ahead and, and actually run uh, an execution of a test. Okay, so that's what Tanuj needed to do uh, to align the test plan. Uh, the last thing we'll show here, I'll just log out as uh, Tanuj, and um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit out of here. And what we'll do now is just kind of switch hats, pretend I'm uh, Scott, and what Scott will do is log into Rational Team Concert. And uh, he can now check alignment. So we'll run that same uh, work item query that we ran before in the previous segment. And we, what we should see now is that, uh, uh, that the lap timer and control uh, story now is aligned with the test case. So here I have a query, current sprint stories without test cases. If I go ahead and, and run that, we can uh, see that uh, whereas before we had three stories, we now see the lap timer control is no longer showing here. So uh, lap timer button and display are, uh, are the only ones left that don't have test cases aligned with them. All right, so that uh, uh, concludes this segment. So what we're going to do next is now that we've uh, planned out the work and aligned a test plan, we're now going to go ahead and actually develop the lap timer.